Well, we're joined in the studio now by Professor Yang Yu Guang from the China Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation and our reporter Han Peng, who was at the Beijing Aerospace Control Center this morning. Welcome to you both. It's uh, been an exciting day so far and more to come. Han Peng, first of all for you, just uh, give us a feel of what it was like there. What was the exciting moment that uh, you can recall? Well, Edwin, I must say that the most exciting moment is still the docking between Shenzhou 11 and Tiangong 2. You know, Tiangong literally means a heavenly palace and Shenzhou a magic boat. And it's such a romantic scenario that a magic boat carrying two astronauts embarked on the heavenly palace 393 kilometers above the Earth and put the two persons into it. And those two persons will stay in the heavenly palace for the next 30 days. And by completing that, China has made a significant step forward toward building its first space station, which is expected to happen by the year 2022. And it's also worth mentioning that by 2024, the only space station, which is called the International Space Station, or the ISS is expected to retire and China's space station if it's successfully launched by 2022 would be the only space station that human beings are left mm. with. That's, a, that's an interesting point isn't it? Uh, so there's just that two year difference between one ending and uh, the other one uh, exactly. starting. Yeah well it's, it's a significant uh, day as I mentioned and uh, Professor Young uh, you have seen so many of these advances in China's uh, space missions what was the most difficult part of the docking today? Well, the docking itself is really challenging. Although we've already uh, successfully have uh, six dockings before, uh, four automatic docking and uh, two manual docking. But you see that the docking mechanism is very complex. It called APAS, and it is composed of tens of thousand parts, uh, several uh, controllers, uh, and also many springs. Uh, so the docking uh, procedure and uh, it takes about uh, ten minutes. So it's very complex, and because it is so complex and it is, has very strict requirement. To to the measurement, uh, so we use uh, microwave reader, LIDAR, and also the communication link between uh, each uh, each uh, vehicle, and together with the uh, uh, optical sensors and also the uh, navigation satellite receivers. So uh, the relative position, the relative speed, and also the relative attitude must be measured very very accurately. So that is why it is so difficult. Mm. So difficult, but uh, carried out successfully, of course, with a lot more to go, yes. yes. Um, Han Peng, just uh, back to you for the moment. When we were uh, broadcasting earlier today, uh, we could hear the applause coming from uh, everybody there in the control centre. Just uh, give us a feel for the mood there. They must have been so happy when the docking was uh, completed successfully. Well, actually, I have to say nothing really dramatic happened in terms of the mood in the mission control room. People were like doing their ordinary jobs, like their routine jobs. They, uh, they were sitting in front of the computer, making analysis of data, sending signals to the two astronauts in the space. And uh, this is a big contrast compared to 13 years ago when China fulfilled its first manned space mission, which is known as Shenzhou 5. Uh, you know, many of the scientists and engineers broke into tears and hugged each other to congratulate on the success of that mission. But this time it seems that everything was like a routine work for many of them. It shows that this calmness shows that they are more confident in the maturity of, the, of China's space technology. And also there is one an anecdote I have to share here. Uh, it's very interesting that the, two, the private conversation between the two astronauts in space can actually be heard in the mission control room. And this time a reporter recorded their private conversation there in space. And, what uh, did they say? <laughs> yes, actually it's very interesting because the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the older uh, astronaut who is uh, Chen, uh, Jing Hai Chen uh, is flying his third mission. He asked the, uh, the other guy, isn't it swell outside the window? And uh, the other guy said, well, uh, it's beautiful. It's quite a low profile answer. And Jing seems not quite satisfied and continued to push him and asking, isn't it swell? Oh. And uh, the other astronaut answered, Yes, as well. So I think that the two are in a very relaxed mood, and it also shows that the uh, China spacecraft can provide a very healthy and comfortable condition for the two astronauts. Yeah, that's a nice anecdote. So a great moment uh, for a China space uh, program, Professor Young. How is this going to play into the next stage? 
Uh, well, you see that uh, for any human missions, the launch and the re-entry is the most dangerous part. The docking procedure is also very dangerous because in the year's future, the uh, progress cargo ship has collided with the uh, Mir space station and caused the leakage of, uh, of the air uh, in, in the station. So it is also very dangerous. So uh, the most dangerous part, the docking procedure, has already been successfully accomplished. And the next stage will be the preparation of the uh, three day, uh, uh, 30 days uh, 30 days joint flight of the combination, the both the uh, uh, spacecraft, spaceship, and the uh, Tiangong Two space laboratory. Uh, it do it need do a lot of things to adjust the parameters and to uh, let the Tiangong Two in charge of all the uh, all the issues. And also the uh, Shenzhou Eleven ship will be in a. Uh, uh, something like a hibernating uh, status. So this has been uh, a very busy task for both astronauts. And also, they will prepare for the future life, daily life in space, and also prepare for the 14 experiments uh, they will be uh, performed in space. And these experiments also are also very challenging and also very interesting. So uh, they will be really busy in space. But of course, they will be also enjoy li their life in space. As they say, it's swell up there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much indeed, Professor Yang Yuguan and also our reporter Han Pang. You're welcome.